Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Expressing the Radius of an Atom in Nanometers. So for an isolated atom, we have a nucleus, and then we have some range in which the electron can be found. And depending on the element, hence the size of the nucleus and the atom, the size or approximate diameter of this atom will range from 0.6 angstroms to around 6 angstroms, where an angstrom, this unit, in terms of meters, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. If we're interested in the radius, the radius we know is equal to half of the diameter. So depending on the element and hence the atom, the range of the radius will go from 0.3 angstroms to approximately 3 angstroms. If we want to re-express these bounds in terms of nanometers, we need to know the definition of a nanometer. So we know that one nanometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Therefore, we know that 1 nanometer is equal to 10 angstroms. So we can use this conversion, this relationship between nanometers and angstroms to re-express this bound on the size of atoms. And this simply becomes 0 0.03 nanometers for the lower bound. And for the upper bound on the radius, it would be approximately 0.3 nanometers. So the radius of a particular element of a given atom will range from 0 0.03 nanometers to 0.3 nanometers where I've simply divided the previous bounds by 10 due to this definition of this relationship. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Expressing the Radius of an Atom in Nanometers.